Helicopters are an extremely valuable tool for search and rescue. They can search large areas quickly and affect uh, difficult or uh, very time-consuming rescues very efficiently. However, if you have bad procedures, bad judgment, or an equipment failure, you can rapidly find yourself in a catastrophic situation. So it's very important to know how to use this resource safely and correctly, and that's what we're going to learn in this module. I hope you enjoy it. There are many operators and types of helicopters you might work with in SAR. In this course, you will learn general information that will have broad applicability to helicopter operations. This will then be an excellent foundation to learn the specific procedures for the helicopter programs that you work and train with locally. To prepare for working with a helicopter, you should be in good health, not excessively fatigued, and certainly not under the influence of any substance. If you'll mostly be working outside, your normal SAR clothing is likely appropriate. Keep in mind that wool tends to have better flame resistance than synthetics. If you will be mostly working in and around the helicopter, such as searching from the helicopter for several hours, consider flame resistant clothing, such as a flight suit. Whatever you are wearing, secure any loose items and close zippers before being exposed to the wind of the rotor wash. Especially in winter, there can be significant wind chill during takeoff and landing. Also make sure your shoelaces are tied. You need to wear eye protection when working around a helicopter. The rotor wash can kick up a lot of dust and debris. A helmet and ear protection are also a good idea, but they might not be compatible with a helmet or headset that you'll put on inside the aircraft. Teams that frequently work in and around helicopters will typically invest in specialized helmets with built-in headsets that are compatible with both portable radios as well as helicopter intercoms. Your gear should be as tidy and compact as possible if you will be loading it onto the helicopter. Any larger equipment like skis, tracking sticks, or poles should be kept flat near the ground. Bulky items can easily blow away in the rotor wash if they are unsecured. Make sure your radio has the right channel settings and a good battery. Once you, your gear, and your clothing are set, check with your teammates. Helicopters get people excited, so review safety considerations and look out for each other. Check out the rest of this course for free on base-medical.com, link below.